Hey Pisces, welcome to your February general reading. Oops, they're jumping out already. Let's see. Diversity on track and the King of Forces reversed there. So, Pisces, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, information on how to contact me for personal readings will be in the description box with the information about what decks of cards I use in all the videos I post. Okay, so we have the King of Forces on track and diversity. So um, <clears throat> you may be feeling that, you know, um, you don't like change at the moment and this is probably what's keeping you off track, right? Um, wanting things to stay the same but have a different outcome here is not going to happen. It's not going to work. You need diversity. You need change to stay on track and to keep moving forward in life here. The king of forces. So I just feel like um, you may be feeling um, a little bit shy um, as Mercury moves into um, your sign. Okay, so I feel like you could be feeling shy and embarrassed easily around your crush or something here. Um, but you need to have a different approach to your crush or the person you want to um, be with, with the diversity being reversed here. Okay, so if you want things on track to turn this situation around, get out of that shyness bubble and reach out. Okay, take a new approach here. I feel like you have all the tools to do it. You may just have a lot of self-doubt at the moment during February, okay? Um, I feel like you'll be liking routine. And that's because the moon uh, will be in Virgo on the 9th of February. So, you know, you want to cling to what's familiar. Um, but it isn't a good idea, okay? Um <laughs> If you want new things to happen in your life, if you want change in your life, um, especially in your romantic life, um, you need to be more diverse, okay? So that's just a little bit of advice, okay? Um, rely on your intuition, okay? This will be very good for you, Pisces, to re rely on your intuition in February, Um it might take some getting used to, but um, it's the best way forward. Okay, birth. There you go. We want this new beginning. You want a second chance or something here, um, but you keep with the same. You keep going with the same approach. So this is why, in order to have this rebirth, you may have been through this spiritual transformation. You may have been through forced into or even felt forced into situations ending or things being out of your control for example let's say your crush won't talk to you then it's out of your control right um so it's being pushed into an uncomfortable situation here to make you gain this confidence to make you have this new beginning um, to bring changes into your life and get you on track but you might just be trying to cling to what's familiar um, your head may be like trying to triumph over your heart at this time, but I feel like it's best to listen to your heart. Loving elements. So yeah, I feel like, you know, um, we will have um, the new moon in your sign in February 23rd. Um, so you may be feeling sentimental about that, okay? Uh, you may want to apologise or get in touch with an ex. I mean, we do have the retrograde 17th of February till the 10th of March. So you may feel like that urge to text your ex during this time. Um, you may want to apologise or get some sort of closure. Um, you may feel like it's important. I feel like it's just um, you need a new approach. Maybe let them come forward to you if you've apologised in the past. Maybe if you haven't apologised in the past, maybe apologise, okay? Um, it can be with friends, family, whoever you've had a disagreement with. You just need a change in approach, okay, guys? But with the Three of Roses, it sees you wanting 
that um togetherness that socializing um you want people to be supportive and around you at this time and this is uriel and the sphinx um you're looking for this higher power to step in okay and you it just makes me think like god loves a trier it means you have to take action yourself set your intentions but then back it up with actions i've got a manifesting video and i always say this you've got to know your desire set your intentions and then go after it it's not just about um sitting there in this dreamy energy i do feel like with the four and the three um for some the pisces energy the pisces season it may just be all dreamy okay you may just be very dreamy in this time and you know this loving element you just may be very soft with people um maybe forgiving but if you've done this before i do want to warn you that it needs to be changed if you haven't done this before then that's the way forward okay i just want to make sure you understand that because i feel like what will happen is it'll look like things are going to work out perfect and then they don't because it's like you're going to learn something very valuable from this it's like coming to, um, you know, like in Aladdin where only um, the one who's like chosen to enter can enter. So I feel like if you've learned your lesson and you're honoring um, what you've learned throughout your life and you're honoring yourself, then you'll pass the test. But if you repeat the same mistakes again, then you must go through the same thing again, okay? So it's like you could attract in a new soulmate who puts you through the same things that an ex did, right? If you don't tra change your approach and that's what's needed. Because I see it coming together of two people um, with the King of Forces reversed there. It's somebody who knows what's right, but maybe not going to follow through with what's right. So they may know that they're in the wrong, but they're not going to admit it. So if they don't admit that they're in the wrong, why are you going to forgive them? If they know they're wrong and don't apologize, why are you going to forgive somebody who's not asking for an apology? It's letting somebody walk all over you. Maybe you feel like you're telling yourself, well, I'm getting closure, I'm doing it for myself, but I feel like it's just really feminine energy will be strong for you and you may be allowing people to cross boundaries. I hope you get me there. I always warn people about when exes return during the retrograde um, they may leave if you don't pass this test sort of thing, if you don't stand your ground and, you know, if you're not honouring yourself, then it won't work out, you won't be allowed in. Archangel Michael, okay, so this is about, um, you know, you, because it's the card number nine, it's related to the hermit, so it's about oneself, okay, um, and look at these wings here, feeling protected. So if this, if you fail this test, the divine will protect you basically here by, let's say, um, if you're always the one who's reaching out to your ex um, and you're supposed to not reach out to them, you're supposed to fight the feelings. If you reach out to them, your ex will essentially ignore you, right? I'm just giving an example. But if... Um, they reach out to you, then I feel like it'll go better for you. Like you've passed the test, you've resisted um, texting them as you always do because the energy really wants you to um, feel that pull and that tug to them. But the divine here wants them to feel it to you as well. But if you're going to always run back to them, they don't have to do anything. So they won't write themselves here, okay? then there won't be a new beginning that can last here. You can come together for a short time and we'll see, did it work? Did you pass the test? Nope, okay. Nine, you're alone again. Okay, that's that nine of pentacles being on your own again. Okay, I get it. Four of um, roses here, ego. So if you're a person who um, never reached out to your ex before or your ex has never reached out to you before, um, it's coming from a place of ego, right? 
so they're either going to reject your offer with the four of roses or they will come to let down their ego and reach out to you if you don't reach out to them okay it's getting <laughs> crazy here but the death of the ego is very painful so i do believe you know this being separated from them is very painful or them rejecting you is hurting your ego in some way or you've hurt their ego by not reaching out to them when they expect you to but what it means is they'll then reach out to you <laughs> are we still here have we got it king of roses there you go somebody's coming forward with an offer a love offer here a romantic offer so even if it doesn't work out with your ex, you see how you get somebody better suited to you. Now you've passed the test. So if you've been single and you pass the test, what you can expect is somebody coming towards you here, an unexpected love offer. Okay? Somebody um, maybe you're not expecting or you don't feel like there's anybody out there for you you're a, that would be your ego talking or your super ego so what happens is somebody comes towards you very much like you could be um a water sign here or an earth um doesn't really matter but i feel like if it's taken a long time um this person might have been holding back because of their ego they expected you to chase them down um and if you kept reaching out to them and they wasn't responding, that was like feeding their ego to ignore you or something like that. So they'll have to take a good hard look at themselves in the mirror here and they'll have to come forward with an offer because it seems like the divine wants this situation to have closure, but um, clinging to the old way of doing things is not going to work here. It's like, you'll never get it um, here. You'll never get in. Like, the vision I'm getting is like Aladdin um, going into the cave. So, um, you'll never get it right if ego's involved, if you don't change, okay? It'll always remain off track. It, it, we have free will, so... The divine wants this to happen, but if somebody's refusing to let go of ego or somebody's refusing to change, um, then it'll stay off track here. Okay, um, change is not a negative thing. Probably diversity is the most beautiful thing in the world. Be open to change. Two of keys, the treasure. So yeah, you're looking for the answer on how to bring this situation together. Um, how do I fix this? Maybe it's not for you to fix. It's maybe for you to let go, let God, and not text them, depending which situation you're in. I know it's got, I'm trying to explain it from both angles, so it can seem kind of confusing here. But it's like, you've done everything. You've looked everywhere. You've tried to text them, everything like that. If you've done all that, let go then whatever can come to you what's meant for you can come to you here this love offer here this treasure um what you're looking for can come to you once you stop looking for it it seems like you're looking for love in all the wrong places here maybe that's just like dawning on this person here like i've looked everywhere i've given my all i've given all my love I've given all my worldly possessions or treasures here and it still wasn't enough. That's because um, when you're off track, it's never going to be, no matter how much you give, it's never going to go right. Let go and let God and you will see this person coming towards you. You've just got to allow them in. So this is either an ex coming in with an apology or you needing to apologize and there's no point telling me like i don't need to apologize they did this or this or this i just said one of you needs to apologize if you're the one who usually apologizes don't do it anymore that's the key here good luck guys